Hello and welcome to Pirivars Fiskeflur. Tonight I'm gonna tie a little caddis fly. Uh, this caddis fly pattern I got from another fly tire who passed away some years ago now. Uh, well, uh, this pattern is made of my own materials. Uh, I got these materials from a local shop. Uh, the base on this uh, fly is a, is a yarn like this one. It's a kind of knitting yarn, very soft in fibers. So you can see very nice and it flows very good. And I also use some, uh, well, try to show it, but uh, it, uh, the light is bad. Uh, this is a uh, Alm uh, G101 size 10 dry fly hook. And I also use uh, a dubbing spinner and a paper clip and some stone for bodkins this one and this one very nice and I use this uh, stone for patin comb very good and some uh, whip finish tool elite whip finish tool and I use this uh, permanent marker Pro marker and a scissors. I think I covered just about it now. Yes, and also I use this uh, little bobbin, elite bobbin from Stonefall. In this bobbin, there is a Semperfly wax thread in size 12 O. Yeah, nice thread. Okay. Well, I just have to get on with the uh, tying then, uh, and I uh, welcome you back to the fly tying bit of the video. To the fly tying bit of this video. Uh, this video will contain uh, a little uh, fly. I have uh, figured out how to tie, and uh, I got my hands on some new materials, so... Uh, like I showed you in the introduction, but um, well, uh, the way I'm gonna tie this is uh, very simple. Uh, the hook in the vise is Alm Fly Fishing Dry Fly Hook, size 10. Uh, I just wanna uh, mention that this fly can call, could uh, you could tie it in every size. Uh, but I use uh, this size for the video making is much easier uh, other th tools I use I use this uh, bobbin from uh, Stonefall elite bobbin I use this uh, needle from Stonefall dubbing needle and I use this uh, ordinary paper clip because the size of it and I got a lot of it and I use some uh, Kai scissors it's a kind of a brand you can buy in uh, in um, uh, sewing sewing shops and um, shops that sells uh, dresses and yarns and everything. I got this uh, Stonefall Elite finisher, and I also got this uh, little uh, dubbing spinner. I got very nice. Um, and uh, yeah, and I also got this uh, pro marker for the coloration of this uh, fly and some uh, water based fly head cement. Okay, guys and girls, let's get on with it. Well, what I've done, I placed the hook in the vise. The vise is a stone for transformer, 
for those for those who wonder about that and I uh, start with the hook eye and successfully wrap my thread down to the hook bend like that okay snip it off and uh, when I first add it I make a dubbing loop not too long dubbing loop easy to make too long dubbing loops okay and then I just place my uh, put my thread there and I put in my dubbing spinner okay and I put it on this little hook I got on this uh, wise very nice so the dubbing loop keeps open okay well I have to get my yarn this is how I, what it looks like like this you saw in the introduction and I used to cut out some fairly long fiber like that okay put this long strip away uh, and I divide this little yarn bit in two okay and what I do now I just uh, I just drag it out like an accordion. What is that? That's what's it uh, name for it in English. In Norwegian, you call it trekspel. <laughs> yep, I got some here. Maybe it's too much. Maybe not. Just put out some. Take out some excess fiber here. This fiber here is very fluffy okay well now i just prepare my dubbing loop this is a sample fly uh, wax thread so i don't need any wax wax okay place my material in the dubbing loop okay and can if you want to just adjust it a little bit just so it don't interfere it stays there okay spin it and this little thing just spins along like that okay spins a little bit just be a little careful so we don't break your thread now I use this little tool I forgot to use this is a toothbrush uh, I prepare this toothbrush by cutting off this uh yeah well i cut it in half you can see it's very short and the stiff in the fibers okay i use this toothbrush because it's uh, it's more gentle than uh, than uh, um, uh, oh, oh god uh, other brushes okay I can see now that this is a bit too much for my fly but I have to be careful and just uh, don't put on too much so well I cannot it's in the dubbing loop now so it's uh, it's stuck there but nevertheless I try to use my patin comb to tear out some fibers maybe I can get it out yes you see that it's an efficient little tool now so okay well just like in hackle I try to manipulate my fibers to get back first of all I just want my excess thread to be as short as possible so I just use my wise capabilities to wind the thread up okay it's a bit tricky this because I don't want to snatch snatch the camera okay 
try to put it on without any lumps and bumps not too much anyway okay you see this hook here is, is almost impossible not to get anyone any fibers fastened there but you have to deal with that later it looks like a freaking mess but uh, well we have to deal with that also okay you see this is looks like totally you have to split this fibers so the tying point won't be as oh my goodness okay I have reached reached it okay you see I try to get the fibers away from the thread so my tying point will be as thick I think I managed to manipulate it so it wouldn't look like a mess okay I can if I want just try to try not to cut my thread I managed that okay and then I just have to try to make a neat little head sorry about my voice I look like a, a, I was haired like a teenager sorry then well, well look my just have to put on some whip finish with my tool snip off my thread and what remains now is the tying is done but you have to try to manipulate the fibers with the brushes and everything you see there are some curly stuff in here you have to get it out there's some hairdressing on this way now I try to use this main mainly this uh, petin comb dubbing brush from Stonefall becomes in handy here just have to brush out all the fibers that are trapped inside here and get all these unwanted little fibers out okay you see it's getting there it's getting there people maybe you can oh my goodness there you have it so it's a bit of force here I have to use some force power to the people well there Well, now is some hairdressing doing here. I'll just have to measure how long it will, will, will be like that. Okay. And now I just have to use it. I take this hook out of the vise. Just uh, try to snip it on, underneath looks so it look oh sorry so it looks like a fly okay I see you could always put out some use some double needle here to pull out some fibers I have a very nice dubbing needle here I want to show you uh, where can I where can it be <laughs> there you have it this little looks like a thing from a Disney like a Captain Hooks 
arm or something but this is very good because it's very good for pulling out fibers but be aware people this hook, hook here is immensely sharp it will poke holes in everything okay I managed to fix the little problem here and I what has happened here okay <laughs> Try to manipulate a little bit, little bit of hairdressing here, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. This is uh, this is the time that you can sit here and hairdress all night long. And I'm gonna, not gonna do that, but. Uh, I try to show you how I want it to be. That's the thing with this kind of flies. You can hairdress and hairdress and hairdress all night long. Well, you have to turn this. It's very nice with the rotation wise to do this kind of work okay well some more it will oh my god try to make it look like a caddis try to look look make it like a caddis okay now it's getting there just have to manipulate it now I want this uh, front to be a little darker so I use my permanent marker here brown in color to make this happen Okay, well, this is how it looks like when it's finished, almost. What rem re remains now is to have some water-based head cement on the head, just to assure you that it won't and wrap on you like that okay sorry about the uh, disturbance well then there you have it folks uh, you can always look at the other one I tied in half an hour ago it looked like a hell of, hell of a lot light, like a better you see one fly could could uh, different from the other, but this is a fly. Um, it's not my invention. Um, it's not my pattern really, but uh, this is my version of it. That I can say. Uh, this uh, fly is uh, tied with another material than or that original. The original was uh, called Ludwig, but this fly I call Kjell, after the originator of the fly, uh, the idea of the fly came from him, and I dedicate this fly to him. Uh, this material I use is, uh, is very floatant, very floatant, I tried it, it floats very well. And it takes also 
chemical very well for flotation purposes uh, sorry about uh, the English I don't know the English word for it um, floatant I think uh, you can uh, dip it in the floatant and dry it and it fish like hell it uh, fish like a caddish fly should fish so this is uh, the little fly called Hjell tied by uh, Perivar Ekebar and I, uh, I will make uh, time to say that I am very happy that uh, people watch on my channel and I am very happy that you took time to look, at, look on this video and uh, I um, wish you all the best and I uh, welcome you back to my next video. Bye.